Okay, so I'm wanting to start a new video series today, and um, I'm going to basically be going over my income as an author and things I'm doing to try to increase my income as an author and hopefully how effective it is, which I hope is effective, but we shall see. So, um... So what I want to do is make videos maybe once a month or once every two months going over my book sales, um, my sales numbers, my, my royalty numbers, and um, kind of evaluating the effectiveness of my marketing efforts. So I've made almost $100,000 as an author so far. Um, and up until this year, I've never really put any effort into marketing beyond just posting to my personal Facebook page and um, on and off running my, my uh, business Facebook page. And I have a website, but I haven't always kept it updated. Um, but really, like, I've not put much effort into marketing up until this point. And so my income as an author has kind of dropped over the past several years and that is something I would like to change. And while I do plan to continue publishing new books and I have a few that I'm working on already. My cats are moving the tripod because they're bonkers. Um, <laughs> While I do plan to continue to publish new books, um, you know, I can't ignore the fact that I already have 90 books published. And it just makes sense to me to try to get them to sell better because I've already done the work, they're already there, um, and some of them have already sold really well for me and others have not. Um, I was I was expressing myself for this video way better before I turned on the camera. <laughs> okay, so I have my laptop here and I'm gonna show things on the screen, but I'm gonna just kind of go over um, go over my book sales, um, particularly from last year, um, comparing to this year. And I'm going to kind of talk about things that I've done so far to try to promote. And, um... And kind of compare this year to last year. And then as we get into next year, I'll compare next year to this year and last year. And kind of just try to see um, if what I'm doing is working. Is it... Am I going to sell more books by putting myself out there more and making the videos I've been making and the different things that I've been doing? And so, yeah, we'll see how this all goes. And um, this is the first video, so I'm going to maybe cover a little bit more than I will in the future. I don't know. We'll see. Um, just to kind of, like, create a starting point for this series. So, um... My camera is about to run out of battery, and I think I need to take care of that first. <laughs> Alright, there we go. I put a new battery in the camera. <laughs> anyway, like I said, I have published 90 books to date, um, but I am going to focus pretty much all of my at least for now, pretty much all of my efforts at increasing sales on three of those books. And so that will be my intro to chemistry coloring workbook, my dive into chemistry compounds in food coloring workbook, and um, this is a proof copy, that's why it has that strip on the cover. Um, <laughs> I do have a regular copy somewhere, but I don't know where it is right at the second. And my French 
vocabulary coloring dictionary. Um, I love this book. I spent so much time and effort on this book and I have only made about fifty dollars from this book in the year I think it's been a year and two months, year and three months, uh, I don't remember exactly since I published it. I made only fifty dollars from it and so I want to change that. I really want to change that. Um, so yeah, let's dive into some numbers. Okay, so, um, like I said, I am approaching $100,000 in royalties. Um, and what that means is I have sold probably in the ballpark of $300,000 of books because my royalty margin runs at pretty close to 30% um, of the retail price. You know, for some, sometimes it's higher, sometimes it's lower, but 30% is a pretty good, pretty good estimate. And so me approaching $100,000 in royalties means that somewhere around $300,000 has been spent on books that I've done. Um, and both of those numbers are really exciting to me. Um, by my current estimates, if there's no huge fluctuation in my book sales in the next several weeks, um, I should be crossing that $100,000 mark probably sometime toward the end of August. And I'm really excited for that. Um, I contemplated whether I wanted to do something really special to like to mark this milestone. Um, I considered like do I want to like maybe take a trip or I don't know um, <laughs> throw a party. I'm not really a party kind of person but you know I, I, I considered like you know this is a huge milestone what do I want to do. Um, ultimately I'm probably not really gonna do much. Um, don't mind the tripod and the weird noises. I have a kitten who is attacking the legs of the tripod and she is very rambunctious. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> she has hands. Look at her paws. She has hands. They're adorable. Um, okay, so Ultimately, I think I'm probably not going to do anything big. I'm probably just going to go to a nice restaurant and have a nice dinner with my two daughters to celebrate, and that'll probably be it. Um, <laughs> I have considered maybe I should maybe I should just maybe I should just say that um, my trip to the Eras tour in Paris was my reward to myself, but. That wouldn't be like completely a genuine thing to say because I it really had nothing to do with this. <laughs> and also that was that already passed and the hundred thousand dollars hasn't passed but anyway so um, as of this filming and we are at it is June 28th 2024 I have made ninety nine thousand dollars ninety nine thousand one hundred and sixteen dollars and thirty cents on KDP. I do have some of my books on other platforms as well, but I'm not really going to focus on that. I'm just going to be focusing on KDP and Amazon because that is where a huge majority of my income as an author comes from. So looking at this chart, you can kind of see that since... Um, that would be January 2018. January, tw January 2018, I made more money than any other month. Um, and that month I made $2,473.33, and that was my highest month ever. Um, <laughs> and it's kind of been downhill from there. So, and you can you can see how it's been just like trending downward and I want to change that. 
Um, I really want to change that. So my goal, my goal is to get my income from my books up to a consistent $2,000 a month. And that is something that I've never reached. I have passed $2,000 a month a few times. Um, let's see, I did it in December 2016. December 2017, January 2018, and that's it. So I've had three months that I have passed $2,000 in income as an author. But I want to make that a norm, okay? It has taken me, um, if, if you look at the, if you look at the graphic, it says um, my my income is from October 11th, 2010, up until today, June 28th, 2024. Um, that's not completely accurate. While I opened my KDP account in 2010, I didn't publish my first book until 2012. So I'm going to go with 2012 as, as the date range. It's been 12 years. It has taken me 12 years to make $99,000. And um, you can see in the graph that this really is since 2016. So <laughs> um, it's really since 2016 that I've been making money as an author. And that would be the last eight years. So if we divide my $99,000 by the last eight years, that comes to $12,375 a year as an average. And dividing that by 12, we come to roughly $1,000 a month as my average income as an author over the last eight years. And my goal is to get that number up to $2,000 a month, and that is what I am working toward now. Um, $2,000 a month, I know this is going to sound insane in this economy, but $2,000 a month would take care of all of the basic needs of my household. Um, a lot of that is because I have a really low mortgage payment. Um, all of my regular monthly bills, mortgage, utilities, phone, internet, all of those come in at around a thousand dollars a month and then the extra thousand you know going toward food, clothes, um, activities. Um, I have two teenagers. <laughs> um, so two thousand dollars a month is my goal it's my goal right now. Once I get there, probably going to aim for higher, but for now, my goal is $2,000 a month as an author because that covers all of my household's basic needs and then the money that I earn at my job, because I do have a job, um, the money that I earn at my job would be extra. It would be supplementary, it would be fun money or investment money or you know, whatever. Um, and then also, if I can get to that point, then that means that if something happens that I don't have my job, for whatever reason, I can still take care of my household without worry. So, um, so yeah, that is where we are right now, and that is the goal. And it may seem weird for me to be sharing this information online, but I know that for me, as an author who's been trying to grow my audience and my business, um, it has been helpful to me when other authors have shared their data and their sales information, um, and I enjoy looking at the numbers and the trends like this, and so I... I just have come to the conclusion that this is something that I want to talk about and I want to share because I think that this can hopefully help other authors out there who are also trying to see like what can I do to get my sales up um, and it'll probably be different for a lot of people watching this because 
most authors aren't doing educational coloring books, which is the bulk of what I've been doing these past years, but um, I still think it's cool to look at the, the numbers and the information, so. Okay, so we've looked at my total amount of money earned <laughs> as an author. Um, so now I want to start, com and, and like, so we see that there's like a downward trend. My income is dropping. Um, <laughs> and I want to change that. I want to change that. So let's look at last year. So in 2023, I made $9,077.93. And my highest sales month was August, which makes sense because most of my books are educational in nature. And so it just makes sense that August usually is my highest sales month because it is leading into the school year. Um, December is also generally a good month for me. Um, I think people are just spending more time, more, sp people are just spending more money in general because of Christmas, and so August is typically, August and December are generally my two best performing months, and so 9077 divided by 12, I averaged $756 a month. So, <laughs> let's compare that to this year, because I've been on a downward trend. Um, so, this year, I have so far made $3,204.52, and if we divide that by 6, because we're just finishing up June, so we're six months through the year, and then we've got the remaining six months. Um, if we divide that by six, that is an average of $534, which, again, we have not yet passed my general highest month, so after August, that August will probably bring the average up a little. It usually does, but still... We're in a we're we're in a downward trend, and I want to change that. So something that I've been starting, particularly this year, I started I started the prep work for it last year. Um, in some ways, I started the prep for the prep work for it back in 2019, but um, it has taken me a long time to make this leap. Something that I've been doing um, starting this year is, well, working on my YouTube presence. Um, and as a matter of fact, let's add those stats to this too. Let's look at YouTube. Let's add those stats to this video series because that is also, I hope, a source of income. Um, at the moment, I have 82, yep, at the moment I have 82 subscribers. And um, I need to get that up to a thousand to monetize my YouTube channel. And I don't know how long that will take, but I'm working on it. So, YouTube. I have 82 subscribers. Um, so there's two different um, there's two different categories, I guess you could say of how to earn on YouTube, and um, one of those includes being able to add links to your online store to your videos, and for that I need to have 500 subscribers, at least three video uploads in the last 90 days, and at least 3,000 public watch hours in the last year. So right now I am at 82 out of 500. which is just over 16%. So I'm 16% of the way there for having enough subscribers. 
and I have 31 public watch hours. So 31 divided by 3,000. I am 1% of the goal. <laughs> um, a slightly over 1% of the goal. So um, I have some work to do there. And then, and then to start to create revenue from my YouTube channel through their ads, um, I need I need to have a thousand subscribers, which means I'm at about eight percent of that goal, and I need to have four thousand public watch hours, which puts me at less than one percent of that goal. So my strategy that I'm taking, that I'm trying to use to increase my book sales and work toward that $2,000 a month goal that I really want to reach is I am posting educational videos related to my books. And I've done three so far and I have several more planned. Um, I'm really excited. So on April 14th I posted my first educational video. It was a short 1 minute 15 second video about sodium chloride. That video has received 118, 183 views, 8 likes, and um, 3 comments. I'm not sure if any of those were me. No, none of those were me. So 3 comments. Um, so that was my first video. My first educational video related to my books. Um, it is on sodium chloride which is in my Dive Into Chemistry Compounds and Food Coloring Workbook. And you can learn about that on page 80. Um, so that was April. And then my second video that I posted was May 24th. So May 24th I posted a video about vitamin C, ascorbic acid, that's also pointing to my compounds and food coloring workbook. And that video only got 14 views and 3 likes um, for such a short, for such a small, like, for such a small amount of views, I'm gonna guess those 3 likes were probably all friends of mine. <laughs> um, and zero comments so but I did I also posted that video to Facebook and I believe on Facebook I had a little bit better a little bit better of results let me look at that okay I can't see where it says how many views I got on Facebook um, but on Facebook my my video on sodium chloride I got 5.5 thousand views um, so, and then my most recent video that I just put out this week, June 25th, was a periodic table video, a periodic table facts video on the element francium. And this doesn't directly relate to information in either of my books. I am working on a periodic table coloring book, but it just goes along with the general theme of chemistry that fits you know, that fits, like, both of these. So, that video on YouTube has so far gotten 63 views and one like, and it has 368 views on Facebook, and then I also have it posted to Instagram and TikTok. Um, I don't know how many views it got there. <laughs> I don't want to go too much into everything. Um, cause my focus, my focus really is YouTube. My focus, um, is primarily YouTube, but I am posting these things also to the other platforms. So what I want to do is compare this year to last year, and I'm going to continue to put out these videos, put out these educational clips that are related to my books, and just kind of see how that affects my book sales. Can I get my book sales higher? by focusing more on marketing versus just, um, 
I mean, what I've done so far is basically I would publish a book and just kind of hope that it sells. And I haven't really done a lot of focused effort on getting people to know about my books so that they're more likely to sell. So, um, let's compare January's. Okay, so January 2023, I made $760.61 from my books, and 627 of that was from my Intro to Chemistry Coloring Workbook. $10.04 was from my Dive into Chemistry Compounds in Food Coloring Workbook. So something I haven't said that I guess I would like to go into a little bit now is that this book has done really well and I've been really pleased with that. That book has brought in a good amount of money for me. Um, I've seen a lot of success with that book. This book, I put just as much effort into publishing and I have not seen the results that I would like. Honestly, I feel that this is one of my best books that I've ever done, and it just doesn't sell. It does not sell very well, and so that's one reason that I'm doing this, is I would really like to change that, because I would like this book to shine the way that it deserves to. And so, um, actually, I think before I get too much further in this, I want to bring up the total sales amount for this book, and also for my French book. So my total lifetime sales that I have gotten from this book, which I published in 2020, is $243.34. Um, how many orders is that? 53 copies. I've sold 53 copies of this book in four years. It deserves better. It deserves better. It's a good book, and I'm going to continue to make videos to promote it. And I want to look at the same for this book also, because this book also is not shining the way I want it to, and hence why I am going to great lengths to get the word out there, because this is a good book, okay? It is a good book. If you want to learn French, and you like to color, look at that. Hundreds of pages, lots of good vocabulary words. This book also deserves to shine. So for my French vocabulary coloring dictionary. I have sold 10 copies. 10 copies. 9 copies last year and 1 copy so far this year. I've only sold 1 copy of this book this year and it's been 6 months. We're at the end of June. And my royalties for that I've made $48.03 from this book that I put a lot of work into. A lot of work. I think I've made less than a penny an hour. Maybe less than half a penny an hour. Certainly, I spent way more than 100 hours on this. Who knows, maybe like a tenth of a penny. I made like a tenth of a penny an hour. <laughs> I don't I don't know. Um, okay. Back to comparing the months. So. January of last year, I made $760. January of this year, January of this year, I've made $709.18. So it's roughly the same, but a slight drop. Um, so $709, roughly the same as last year. So now let's look at February. February of last year, I made $673.81. And February of this year, 
February of this year, I made $440.02, and that is quite a drop. And so, February of last year, I made $673.81 total, and... $616.44 of that was from my Intro to Chemistry Coloring Workbook. And I had zero sales of my Dive into Chemistry Compounds and Food Coloring Workbook. Then we look at February of this year. I made $440 total. $393.20 of that was my Intro to Chemistry Coloring Workbook, and $4.59 of that was my Dive into Chemistry Compounds and Food Coloring Workbook. And I had not yet published the French Vocabulary Coloring Book at this point. So, now let's look at March. March of 2023, March of last year, I made $611.55. March of this year, I have made $538.64. So this is, again, a slight drop. Okay, so um, last year in March, my Intro to Chemistry Coloring Workbook, I sold, I made $522.85 compared to this year, I made $489.14. And then last year, in March, I made $10.48 from my Dive into Chemistry Compounds and Food Coloring Workbook. And this year, I made $0 in March from my Dive into, Com Dive into Chemistry Compounds and Food Coloring Workbook. So, now let's look at April. April of last year, and this is actually kind of weird because historically speaking, April has been one of my worst months, but April of last year, I made $798.44, and $683.20 and of that was from my Intro to Chemistry Coloring Workbook and $4.73 of that was my Dive into Chemistry Compounds and Food Coloring Workbook. And this year, um, which this one isn't surprising to me because again, historically speaking, April has typically been my worst sales month all year. That's just the way it has typically been. I always kind of expect it, April, not gonna make as much as usual. But so this year in April, I made $360.76. And um, yeah. <laughs> um, so $299.81 of that was my Intro to Chemistry Coloring Workbook. And I did not sell any copies of my Dive into Chemistry Compounds and Food Coloring Workbook. Also, April last year is when I published this. And this year, in April, I have seen zero sales of this book. But last year, in April, I did see $12.21 from this book. I think that's either two or three book sales. So, um, April is also when I posted my first science YouTube video. 
Um, and I posted not only the science video, but also to Adventures of Sonia videos, which are basically like the behind the scenes, me showing you my process and bloopers and all of that that went into making that video. All together, those three videos have a little over a thousand views together. Um, and I published those from April 11th to April 14th. My hope is that as I continue to do this and as I continue to improve and get better, that um, eventually it will come to a point that I am putting out videos that bring people who want to buy my books. That's the goal. So April, April was point one of actually like taking these steps toward promoting my books. And we can look at this and see that April did a whole lot worse than last year, but last year was also really an anomaly because I don't usually see high, like April is usually my worst month, so April being almost $800 last year when my yearly average was lower than that, that's really an anomaly, it's kind of strange, um, but anyway. <laughs> So, now let's, let's look at May. Okay, so last year in May, I made $677.95 on KDP. And this year in May, I made $585.33. So we're still on that downward trend, right? But again, I've just started this, so... I'm hoping to see things start to trend higher over time, but I don't expect that to start with my first videos. So in May is when I posted the vitamin C video. Um, I posted the vitamin C video and also a video of Adventures of Sonia, my, um, my process making the video, the bloopers, and all of that. Um, and together, those two videos only got just under 80 views on YouTube. Um, again, I don't, I don't know how many views they got on the other platforms. I'm not going to go too much into the other platforms, but, um, yeah. But then I also, I also released another French vocabulary pronunciation video in May, toward the end of May, um, which I am hoping those will help sell this book. And let's see, because I didn't compare book for book, so this year, I did sell a copy of this. I sold a copy of this book in May. So I made $4.19. And from my Intro to Chemistry Coloring Workbook, I made $480.82. And my Dive into Chemistry Compounds and Food Coloring Workbook, I made $13.17. And comparing that to last year, Last year in May, I made $605.34 with my Intro to Chemistry coloring workbook and $10.26 and $10 from my French Vocabulary coloring dictionary. And last year in May, I did not sell any copies of this one at all. So, um... Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> um, Alright. And now, let's go to June. We are in June right now. We haven't quite finished June. Um, there are a couple more days left of the month. But it wasn't going to be convenient for me to film this at the end of June or the first day, the first of July. Um, today is the most convenient day that I had to film this. Now, June is where it starts to get a little interesting, and I can't say whether this is going to become an upward trend or not, but um, I'm a little hopeful. So we still have two days left in June this year. 
but last year in June I made five hundred and fifty two dollars and forty five cents and this year in June with two days still left in the month I've made five hundred and sixty one dollars and thirty seven cents which means I've made more in June this year than I made last year does that have anything to do with the efforts that I've been putting out to bring more awareness to my books? I don't know. I don't know. It's possible. You know, I haven't had, like, I haven't had any of my videos go viral, and I haven't had, like, hundreds of thousands of views, but it is possible that out of the, you know, 80-some views on the vitamin C video and the, um, you know, if if we're counting my Adventures of Sonia videos, like over a thousand views on the one I did on sodium chloride, it is possible that a couple of those views might have brought people to my website and they might have bought a book. I don't know. Um, I'm hopeful. I'm I'm a <laughs> I'm a pretty consistent optimist. Um, <laughs> maybe a little Delulu. But I'm hopeful that my videos are making some kind of an impact. And so, anyway, June this year, we're doing better than June last year. I'll take it. Um, and, yeah, so in June this year, from my Intro to Chemistry coloring workbook, I made $478.48. In June last year, for my chem Intro to Chemistry coloring workbook, I made $443.85. Um, for June last year, I, I mean for June this year, I made $14.89 from this book. June last year, I made $5.24 from this book. June last year, I made $18.39 from this book. Now, if I remember correctly, I believe June of last year is when I was putting out a lot of my coloring shorts for this book. So let me just pull that up. Okay, no, I'm mistaken. I did those in April and May. So I published multiple shorts, which I'm going to I'm going to pick that up again. I'm going to start doing that again. Um I published multiple shorts of coloring this book in April and May, and then I stopped doing that. And the interesting thing, I guess, is that um if we look at last year, If we look at last year for this book, okay, I did all of that YouTube promoting in April and May. This book pretty much stopped selling after June. Um, I have four sales in June and then one sale in September and that is it for last year. This book stopped selling after I stopped doing those YouTube shorts. Um, <laughs> So I feel like I was onto something there, and I'm going to start those up again, I'm going to continue to make those, and hopefully I'm going to see this book start selling again. I also have some more, like, really exciting, fun videos coming up related to this book that I am looking forward to sharing with everybody, um, but it's going to take some time because it's going to take a lot of editing, and I do still have, like, a day job. It's actually a night job, but, you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> Like, I am, I'm a busy person, so it's going to take a while to get those edited and posted, but I'm really excited to see what I can do to get this book selling more by posting shorts and also longer form videos, and then the same for my, my other books. So, was there anything else that I wanted to talk about? Um... Okay, so we did our comparisons. 
January, January of this year, I made less than I made January of last year. February of this year, I made less than I made February of last year. March of this year, I made less than I made March of last year. April of this year, I made less than I made April of last year. Ah, oh, my computer died. Um, May of this year, I made less than I made in May of last year. But then June of this year, I've made more than I made in June of last year. And so... It's been less every single month, but then June, it's up a little. I mean, it's, it's a very slight difference, but it is up a little. This is the first month all year that has done better than last year, and it was April that I started posting videos online. So, and I haven't done a ton. So far, I've done like one video a month. I mean, if we're, co if we're counting my blooper reels, it's been more than that. But I've done, like, one scripted, organized video a month. Um, but, yeah. So, I'm going to keep this going. And I'm going to keep putting out videos. I'm going to work on more shorts for this. I'm going to do some other interesting, fun things for these two. And I'm going to see how it goes. Um, hopefully, I can start to get more subscribers to my YouTube channel. That would be great. Um, I would love to be able to monetize this channel. I just need 918 more subscribers and um, like 3,969 more watch hours. But <laughs> um, I'd love to be able to monetize this channel. So that's also a goal. Um, and yeah, I'm, so that's my plan. I'm going to keep putting out YouTube videos related to these three books specifically. I have a lot more books in existence, but I'm not really going to focus on marketing those yet. Um, maybe in the future. I also have other books that I'm working on that I would like to publish, and when I publish those, I will probably also do videos with them as well. And, um, anyway, thanks for listening, and feel free to follow along in this journey. If you're, if you're also an author, or interested in becoming an author, and you want to learn more about, um, you know, data and book sales and, and just kind of get an idea of how it's going for others. Um, I know that I really enjoy seeing other authors share their book sale information. Like, I find it really informational and helpful and interesting. Um, I like to see that. So when other authors are sharing what they've done and sharing how their, their book sales have gone and um, that kind of thing. I've always found that really interesting, and so that's part of why I want to do this and also share mine, is because I feel like this can be helpful to others. I feel like this can be helpful to other people who are trying to get into this space of being an author, of making an income, and um, yeah, so I guess I don't really have a whole lot else to say on that subject. I'm going to continue to create educational videos. Um, I'm going to try to do more. Um, I'm actually, I'm going to be really, really busy this summer, but especially once fall rolls around, I'm going to try to kind of kick it up a notch and get more, more videos out and um, try other things for marketing as well. Um, Marketing is new to me. Advertising, this is not something that comes naturally to me. This is something that I'm having to learn. And, um, yeah, feel free to follow along. And let's see if I can get up to $2,000 a month because that would be a dream come true right now. Um, that would really be great. So, yeah. Um, my laptop battery died, so I can't bring up any more information. Um, I need to go charge my laptop. And 
I will probably do another update video like this either at the end of July or the end of August. Um, it's really going to depend on my schedule and um, just what else I have going on. But I'm going to try to do update videos like this once every month or once every two months um, to kind of like track my sales and see like is this is what I'm trying to do with these videos helping my sales, which I think it will. I really think it will because of what I said about this one, that I was making those coloring shorts and um, I made those through to the end of May. And then after June, this book stopped selling. Um, and it was, it's not like this was selling a ton, you know, it wasn't selling a lot. But it sold, you know, I sold copies in April, May, and June, and then I sold one copy in September, and then I've sold one copy of this book this year. I don't remember which month that was, but <laughs> um, I do think that those shorts were helping, and then I stopped making those shorts in May, and come July this book wasn't being noticed and it wasn't selling anymore. So I'm really hopeful that these efforts of making YouTube videos, making educational videos related to my books, will help me increase my sales. And um, how long it will take me to get to 2000 a month, I have no idea. But um, that's my goal, and that's what I'm working on, and thank you for watching. And Please subscribe and like and comment and follow if you want to, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye!